What's up guys, Sick S10s. Today, I'm going to get my truck somewhat painted. Because as you can see, it's all put back together. And out here, I've driven it a couple of times. It's all aired up right now because, as I said, I'm getting ready to do some taping off and uh, a little bit of painting. <clears throat> the 4.3 V6, my red truck, is now up in the garage because, for some reason, uh, I didn't want to start one day. I uh, put a new distributor on it because I found out that the distributor was all rusty after I took the distributor cap off of it and there's pieces that were broken that was the reason why it was not running really good and uh, I put a new distributor on it finally got my quarter intake on it after making a couple of pie cuts and welding these together with my TIG welder so that's all on there and as soon as I got it running perfect boom just like stopped working put a full tank of gas in it so I'm thinking it's the fuel pump because it'll sit there and crank and crank and crank and it won't fire up and I don't smell gas so that tells me that's got to be something with fuel related because it's obviously getting spark brand new ignition everything part of the ignition is brand spanking new I just replaced all of it so I got this truck down so I kind of made my bag truck of daily driver for I think I did drove it for two days and then I've been putting uh, the old V8 to work all week long uh, to get me back and forth from work so it's kind of nice having three trucks just in case of one breaks and you know I still have two others or I still have my four wheel drive which is right there out on the street but yeah I'm gonna get the camera all set up it's gonna be a time lapse gonna be a real fast uh, movement of me getting the truck all taped up and I'm going to do some type of a zombie theme paint job, so I don't know quite what I'm doing. I kind of want to do some swirls on the back corners and like just put some green down, some uh, uh, hazelnut. I'll show you the colors I got. So right here, I'll add this one and this one. Those are my going to be my four colors for the bottom. So the zombie green is almost like the skin. And you got brown, which is kind of just like the dirtiness. And you got little spots of black. And then I'm going to use the funnel with my glove and put this and spray into the funnel. And then run this around all my rust spots so it looks like the blood is dripping down the truck. So that's my plan with the funnel. So that's my goal. And then I got three cans of gloss black to do from the body line up. So like this over here. From this body line up will be just solid gloss black and everything down here will be like all like green like spotted green and brown and little black spots and swirls and stuff like that but you know out on that truck so let's get the camera all set up and let's get this paint going because I have seven days till the ice cream cruise I'm all registered my buddy got registered today I told him he needed to get move on because tickets might sell out and uh, it's all pre-registration, so you can't pay at the gate. Everyone would have to pre-register and then go to the show. But uh, yeah, let's get this all set up and let's get this truck painted because I still have tomorrow, which is Sunday, to work on it. And um, I still need to drive it some more because the back brakes, they were stiff. And I had, uh, I had them hot. I mean, they were sizzling and smoking at one point. But, uh, yeah, it's driving much better. I just took on, like, a small, quick ride around the block. And she seems like she's letting loose. Like, and I reset the timing. The timing was off a little bit. So now the timing is right on point. So it has a little bit more power. So let's get to it.
you're probably all wondering why I haven't taped off that whole bumper. Well, that's because I'm going to put some plastic on it because none of this gets painted and just lay plastic down. I don't have to go through so much tape. Welcome back. It is now tomorrow. I uh, had some difficulty with my phone. I guess it while I was recording yesterday, it just died. I guess I was using it too much. So I wasn't able to get most of my paint job or what I was doing, but I still have a little bit to do. So I'm going to show you guys what I've gotten done. I think it looks kind of cool, but I'm going to put a little bit more uh, speckle into it. But here it is. Got purple, black, and red splatter all over it. But yeah, my phone died yesterday as I was getting all that taped up and stuff. Why? And I don't know what was going on. My my phone maybe it's just getting kind of old. Battery's just getting kind of weak in it. But uh, I still need to put some dark green splatter all over it because I want to do that. Get out of that sun. It's kind of bright. And then um, I'm gonna clear coat it all, and then I'm gonna untape it, and then do the top line, and then do that all gloss black. But hopefully my phone's fully charged it's an early morning my tv gave out on me last night for some reason i woke up this morning it's got all this sound no picture 65 inch tv i gotta replace that now so uh that's gonna hit the pocketbook about 400 bucks so i'm gonna get the camera set up and we're gonna get this truck finished today because i want to go out and drive it get the clear coat all set done and dry clean it up and now we're six days from the ice cream cruise. So let's get to it. So what I'm doing to get the splatter effect is I got these flats for like cans, like soda cans to fit into. I cut the corner off because the corner has this little tiny hole. You can see it right there. So what I do, get you guys set up here. I take the paint and I just spray it down into it and let it run down into that hole and I just throw it kind of at it and the motion of throwing it it only comes out that hole so that's how you get the splatter effect. So these are kind of colors I've been using red, green, purple, brown, uh, and I'm going to be putting this dark green on for the last one and I might do a little bit more black splatter But I don't know. I'm kind of doing more black dots than splatter the red I was kind of doing more blood. So I had see how small that hole is When I was doing the blood I had one that had a hole that big so it was just coming out way faster So it was kind of cool that I was able to 
adjust the flow by picking what corner I wanted to use. But yeah, I figure I'll show you guys that just to show you how I was doing the splatter. And then when I do the blood dripping, I'm going to take the red paint here and spray it into the funnel and then use the funnel to go up against the body and just kind of go against it and let the blood just kind of drip down from where all the rust spots are. So it looks like that the rust spots are like injured spots. So that's what I'm kind of doing. And that's how you do the splatter. That's that dark green right there. And you got purple, red, black. I feel like I need to put another color on there. I got some teal. But I don't know. I feel like if I keep putting colors on and putting colors on, it's not going to look good. getting bright out here it's gonna be a uh, set it's supposed to be 94 degrees today you can see all this right here it's all like rust and stuff so I want to get that blood so it looks like that blood's dripping down this all the way down it and then down this and then come over here I want to put blood all the way around this gas door because it's like a patch there's a rust spot there there's a rust hole right here. I can put my finger in it and put bl like blood dripping around all that, all this, all that. That's kind of the plan. And we see all this like, it's kind of brown right here. That's that hazelnut and it kind of put a texture on it. So it's kind of cool. I want it to be textured, but I'm also going to clear coat it all. But I think that's going to be the next step is just clear coating it. And then all doing the blood and then clear coating it. So I'm going to get to it. All right, guys, after working on my truck all day, and I mean talking from 10 o'clock in the morning till now, which is, I think, 7. Oh, no, it's 8 o'clock. I think it's 8 o'clock. I'm at my uh, favorite car wash. Dollar twenty-five a wash. And I got the truck painted, out driving it. So the only thing I got to do now for the next week from tomorrow, which is Monday, until Saturday the car show is clean. Clean the interior, clean parts underneath the hood, and uh, just make sure everything is mint condition and that uh, make sure I got extra fuses, extra relays. I might have my toolbox ready, have a canopy. It's supposed to be like 105 degrees on Saturday. It's going to be a hot one. But let me show you guys what it looks like. I think it turned out good. I like it. And I was just gonna do just regular gloss black, but I ended up getting a couple cans of clear. But man, trying to do rattle can 
it's so hard not to get lines and imperfections in the paint. Like over here it turned out amazing. I mean, I guess if you want to use five cans of paint on just your hood. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. Because uh, this weekend's going to be a whole lot of fun. And I'm going to try to video as much as I can of as many cars as I can. So everyone can see on how big this car show is. I got the air compressors moved apart. Because I think they were too close. Got the air horn all hooked up. Fuel cell all mounted. I think I'm going to go get some more gas when I leave here. But yeah, this is it, guys. I think it looks good. But after I get done with the ice cream cruise, I have another car show the following weekend. And then I think car show season's done. I might have one more that I have to go to around October maybe early November, but other than that, the car show uh, season will be over. But I hope everyone likes this video, and uh, keep on watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Do you know? You never took me seriously. You don't have a time for me. I don't have a time to please you. I put all your things away. You're welcome. Broken promises are gonna be out of work. I'm leaving it. I guess I thought you saw my grow on me. You never.